channel, Nisha Loves It, where I make videos about pretty much everything I love, be it fashion, health, recipes, how-to videos, home decor, pretty much anything I like, you can find it on this channel. So if you're interested in any of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumb, and leave a comment for me. So today's video, we're going to be talking about supplements that I take for my Hashimoto's. I get this question a lot. So I thought I'd make a video because it's much easier to just send people to a video than it is to type in all of these and send you the links. So you can find all the links to everything I'm going to talk about down in the description or over on my blog, nishalovesit.blog. So the very first supplement that I'm going to talk about is iodine. So I take J. Crow's Lugol Solution 2%. Looks like this. Um, Dr. Berry has a video about iodine. I'll link it in the description as well if you need to know about the science, who can take it, who can't take it, all that good stuff. As far as I know, this is fairly safe for most people. Most people are iodine deficient. He talks a lot about that in that video. I take two drops in my coffee in the morning. So drops, not droppers full. So like one, two. I put in my coffee, I can't taste it. Uh, Ken puts it in his water sometimes. I can taste it in the water. I don't like the taste of it, but in my coffee, I can't taste it at all. So two single drops every day in my coffee. The next supplement I'm going to talk about is uh, vitamin D3 and K2. I get this brand because it's in coconut oil. You have to be careful. Sometimes supplements have inflammatory oils like seed oils, you know, canola oil, that kind of thing. This one just has coconut oil in it. They look like this. They're really quite pretty. This is a 5,000 international unit capsule. I take more than that. Most people can get away with taking 5,000 a day. Dr. Berry has a video about that as well. I'll link it in the description if you want to know how much you can take, why you should take it, the benefits of taking it. Uh, I think everybody needs to be taking vitamin D3. We're pretty much all deficient in that too. K2 is super beneficial. I'm not going to get into the science on this with you guys because I, I'm that's just not my thing. I'm just going to tell you what I take. So I take this and because I'm breastfeeding, I take a higher dose, like I said, but usually I would just take 5,000 units to 10,000 units. The next one is electrolytes. I use two different brands of electrolytes. These are the Keto Chow Fasting Drops. They have electrolyte drops as well. The fasting drops have more sodium. I feel better when I eat more sodium, so I use the fasting drops. You can use either one. It doesn't matter. They're both great. These just taste really salty. Um, they're good in water. You can put them in anything. They're good in water. You can put them in your coffee. You can put them in whatever you like. Just really salty, you know. Um, the directions on how much to use are on the back right here. I get a lot of questions on how to use these. You just just use them like it says. It tells you everything you need to know on the back of the bottle here. And I use these. I either do these in the morning and the Redmond's Electrolyte Powder, which is flavored and tastes kind of like a Gatorade. At night, I just two doses a day. So two doses of this or two doses of that or one of each. Doesn't really matter. It's just whatever I'm feeling at the moment. The powder, the electrolytes from Redmond's that are powdered. Um, I don't like that in my coffee, obviously. So I put these in my coffee if I'm doing electrolytes in the morning in my coffee. And then if I'm going to do water, then I use the Redmond's because it's flavored and they're really tasty. Next up are these um, grass-fed dehydrated dehydrated beef organs from Ancestral Supplements. And I have a few promo codes for these guys too. So if there's a promo code, that'll be linked below. So this is what these look like. They are just, they come in capsules like a move right here. Uh, uses directed on the back. It tells you how to use them on the back. So six capsules are suggested daily or as directed by healthcare professionals. So I don't take six of these. I usually take around three. And although I don't mind eating uh, organ meat from chickens or beef, I don't mind at all. I actually really love chicken liver and I have a chicken liver recipe. I'll put the little box over here for you guys if you wanna watch my, well, it's not really my recipe, it's Kim Howerton's recipe, but it's delicious. And um, I don't mind it. I actually really love chicken liver, but I don't eat it every week all the time. Uh, apparently it's hard for me to find it now. It used to be super easy. Nobody was eating chicken livers and now every time I try to get them, they're out. So I do supplement with these and some people don't like liver or any type of organ. And so these are a really good alternative to that kind of stuff. The argument can be made that you don't need to eat organ meat. I can't see how it could hurt. 
so I do supplement with these and I don't mind them. The cows that the organs come from are pasture raised, grass fed, grass finished, hormone pesticide and GMO free, no fillers or flow agents. So this is a very high quality organ supplement. These are the only ones that I have tried and taken. I trust this brand. The organs that this has in it are liver, heart, kidney, pancreas, and spleen, all from a cow. Um, the capsules are made out of a gelatin, and that's all that's in here. Next up is magnesium. This is also from Keto Chow. You can get magnesium on Amazon. You can get this brand on Amazon as well, but I have a discount code for this as well. Um, magnesium for me really helps with sleeping. It helps with my muscles. I think overall magnesium is just one of the most, one of the most important electrolytes that you need. Um, if you're on some sort of medication, I suggest you go talk to your doctor about any of these supplements before you start taking them because some medication can be affected by supplements. Um, so you just want to be safe when you're doing any kind of supplementing. So just check with your doctor. It's usually fine, but it better safe than sorry. Last one is this vitamin. It's got folate and B vitamins in it. It's uh, kind of pricey, but it's hard to find folate that doesn't have a lot of fillers and crap in it, so this brand doesn't. It's got riboflavin, vitamin B6, folate, B12, and um, the capsules are cellulose, not a lot of filler in it. I take two a day of these, and I take them when I eat because I'm kind of sensitive to taking pills on an empty stomach. So if I'm intermittent fasting, I'll just wait until I'm eating before I take these and the others as well, just because it's a lot on your stomach. So I don't think it would interfere with your fasting. Uh, and if it did, it would be super minimal, but for your stomach's sake and uh, to keep you from having any kind of like GI issues, then just hold off and wait till you're going to eat your meal. It won't hurt you to take these at night or in the afternoon. Doesn't really matter. So yeah. That's the last one. All right, guys, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, make sure you hit that thumb. That makes me so happy getting good feedback from you guys. Leave a comment. Tell me if you take any of these supplements. Tell me if they helped you, if you couldn't tell a difference, all that good stuff. Also, I wanted to let you know I'm doing What I Eat In A Day videos every week now. I got so much good feedback from you on the last video that I did like that and so many of you want more of that so I'm gonna give it to you make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification button that way you know every time I post a new video okay guys thanks so much for watching I appreciate every single one of you have a beautiful week love you mean it